All right, you're probably wondering what a casual crook is. Let me explain. A casual crook is something I just came up with, and it's someone who steals the fun from a casual game. And I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. And this is definitely different from a pub stomper, because usually there's some sort of skill behind them. No, no, I'm talking about the people who are using some bogus ass weapon to win games. And there are some very distinct offenders of this as well. And I'm going to highlight three of them here today. So let's just get right into it. Couldn't you see the bloody bombs? So sticky knights are a rare breed. They cast aside the one weapon that requires some sort of precision for a pair of fresh Jordans and a focus on the sticky bomb launcher, which is possibly the strongest weapon in the game. The Sticky Bomb Launcher is loathed for how rewarding it can be for how little accuracy is required of you. This is actually the only loadout that I caught hate for using as well. There's something about the absolute ignorance of dropping the grenade launcher for what is essentially only an additional 25 health that can cause some rage in the heart of enemy gamers. I can't say that you're going to see a lot of Sticky Knights running around very often, but when you do, just know that you are witnessing someone who has fully embraced the darkness of stickies. This person has no shred of love in their heart. Now that being said, how does it feel to essentially only have your sticky bomb launcher? It actually feels amazing. My morals were sent packing, and I was sending people back to the respawn room. Fuck! Fuck! I've always been someone who's been anti-sticky. Personally, it's just not as rewarding as hitting a donk or a direct pipe. Playing as the Sticky Knight though, I feel like I've learned how rewarding it can be to predict someone's movement with a well-placed Sticky. Playing as the Sticky Knight will require a fair bit of spam. I'm not trying to convince you any otherwise. The nuances are there though. Fighting a scout with nothing but your Stickies was like a strange dance. If they're right up in your mitt, you have to break out some serious jukes to get them off of you. And if they're far away, you have a great option to put some pressure on them with a charged shot from the Sticky Bomb Launcher. I've always been anti-Sticky Bomb, but at the same time, I appreciate it. A good Sticky Trap. And now that you don't have a Grenade Launcher, if you set up a Sticky Trap, all you can do is wait and watch it, which kind of sucks. So is it worth the hate? I definitely can't defend this. Sticky Spam is pretty annoying. Um, and it's also very strong. There's absolutely counters to sticky spamming demos, but that doesn't make it less irritating to deal with. The Sticky Knight, though, is pretty chill. If you're trying to turn your brain off and blow people up, I would really recommend it. This next loadout, though, is not chill, and I would rather raw dog the solar eclipse than play with it again. I am giant! You know what's annoying? Stuns in an FPS. Could you imagine having easy stuns in your FPS? How cringe is that? I ain't gonna lie, it was hard coming up with one of these loadouts for Heavy. Not many people play Heavy, first of all. And most of his weapons are pretty straightforward. That really narrows it down to one option, the Natasha. The Natasha is a weapon that applies a slow to nearby targets and gives Heavy a damage resistance when spun up and below half health. The downside is a longer spin up time and a damage penalty of 25%. I've never used the Natasha, so in my mind, I assumed I was gonna waltz into a game and be an absolute menace. Well, I'm an idiot because I should have known there was a reason why no one uses the Natasha. That damage penalty is an absolute ball buster. The time to kill on the Natasha is so unbelievably pathetic. This weapon would basically be a get out of jail free card for the enemies because it, if I had been using another minigun, I would have gotten many, many more kills. Here's the real kicker though. The Natasha was such a piece of ass that it would not only ruin my time, but the other team's time as well. Although I wasn't killing the people I was shooting at, they were stuck in the spider web that is the Natasha. Often, my teams would end up getting very easy kills because they were shooting people who couldn't move. It was like in Scooby-Doo where Shaggy and Scooby were trying to run but weren't going anywhere, and then they just got stabbed in the back by a spy. All in all, this loadout was the worst I used by far. The hate 
that it deserves isn't high enough because it's not fun to use and it's also not fun to have people use it against you. It really broke my brain thinking about it. All right, unlike the Natasha Heavy, this next loadout was lethal and its notoriety is what really inspired this video. Since I've played this game, there's not been any hate for a loadout as consistent and deep as the hate for the Flog Pyro. This is a legendary loadout and has sparked rage in the heart of many poor burned pubbers. Since I'm a man of morals, I actually did not have a Flog in my inventory so I had to go out and buy one. It honestly was a moment of deep shame, but I knew I had to do it to make this video a reality. The flog gives you guaranteed crits for building up this meter with fire damage, and it also forces you to give up your air blast. Ah. Building up enough fire damage would be challenging if you had to either be precise with your shots with the flare gun, or have enough awareness to get up close and personal with the flog, but the scorch shot throws that shit out the window with a simpler approach. Basically, if you see an enemy, all you have to do is fire in their general area, and you'll have a good chance of lighting them on fire. If you're really feeling saucy, you can even try and directly hit your enemy for the chance to do obscene damage. All the while, you're building up that crit meter. Once it's full, it's time to mulch anyone standing in your way. Few things are as terrifying as a crit flog running towards you, and watching people essentially give up once I caught them off guard really reminded me of the bastard that I am. I don't think I got the most out of the flog. Maybe this is just how the weapon is, but there were many times when I popped my crits and found not a single gamer. That being said, I wasn't too eager to keep practicing with this thing. One thing I did notice though, the Scorch Shot is much better than the Flog. There were plenty of times when I would hit someone with the Scorch Shot and listen for what felt like minutes as they burned to death. After looking it up, it's only 8 seconds, but it is absolutely absurd. The Scorch Shot is as an oppressive of a weapon as they come. It truly felt wrong to use. Also, the unsung hero of this loadout was the Power Jack. It would help me hide the crits once I popped them, and it would help me get closer to the people so I could use them on them. The hate for this loadout could not be any more valid, and if someone knows how to get the most out of this loadout, you better hope they're on your team. Alright, well, thanks for watching, that's all I got. You know, tell me in the comments that I get anything wrong. Would you have changed any of these loadouts? I'll be releasing another video just like this very soon, so I'll see you then.